So I got to a point where, you know, I'm just constantly pouring out, pouring out, pouring out. I really didn't have a lot of energy um, left to give and feeling less creative, feeling less energized. And I remember just getting to a point where I felt stuck. Uh, just, I did not have a peace that surpasses all understanding that comes from Jesus. And I remember just knowing I needed help. Life is a journey. There's ups, there's downs, there's struggles. Even in James, uh, we see all throughout the book of James where trials are promised and we know they're coming. Every single day brings its own challenge. It's no different here, uh, here at the barn. And really, our journey and our struggle, uh, I can pinpoint back to where Courtney and I met. I played my college basketball career at Purdue University Northwest and had a year of school left and was able to get in touch with Coach Painter and he allowed me to be senior manager for Purdue men's basketball. And during that year, that's where I met Courtney. And that is when we started dating. That's when uh, we started talking about God's purposes for our lives. I remember going through just an intense time of prayer together. We were just married, figuring out what our why was, what our purpose was. And we had opportunities all over the country to go coach college basketball, but we felt called here. We, we, we didn't know why, we couldn't see why. And that's when I mentioned the story of purchasing this property and getting this property, but uh, it didn't just happen. And uh, I talked to our mindset coach and he's like, less is more, you gotta go inward and you gotta, you gotta focus, you gotta, the world wants to tell you it's selfish to take care of yourself, but you, you gotta be doing the thing. So for me, it's exercise, it's meditating, it's reading my Bible, it's journaling, and I gotta do those things before everybody's awake. As soon as the kids wake up, it's on. And so um, prioritizing and structuring um, life uh, and creating the life um, that, that we desire um, and that is in alignment with what God has called us to do has been something that has been uh, transformative here over the, the last year um, for, for our business and, and just personally. So th there, was, there were times of struggle, but like I can say, we're on the, we're on coming out. We hear that sometimes now where people are like, man, we're, Compete Training Academy just came out of nowhere. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. We've been training hoopers for 12 years. We started in driveways. Courtney trained people out of uh, a, a mobile home, uh, whatever it was uh, that we needed to do to get the job done. And uh, really in 2017, when we bought this property is when Compete Training Academy took off. I don't wish away the struggles because the experience makes you better and now somebody maybe who's watching this is going through, I'd love to help you. Um, if you feel stuck, if you're, if you're going through that struggle, you, you don't have to stay there. So reach out, let's talk, let's get, you, let's get you going and get you on your true north. The struggle is always gonna be there, but with no struggle, there's no progress. Uh, to get where you're supposed to go. So you gotta embrace the grind, you gotta embrace the struggle because your breakthrough is just around the corner.